Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Garrett, and welcome to Hitman 3. Playing this on the Xbox Series X, so we'll be captured in 4K. For those of you who can enjoy it. I love this new trilogy of Hitman, and I suck at Hitman, but I still keep coming back to it because I love it. Love the first one. Fell in deeper love with the second one, so I'm excited to keep the franchise going. I'm, I'm happy to support this team that went out on a limb to keep this franchise going. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have Hitman right now. And that just warms my heart. Yep, well that looks good. Oh good, our carryover happened too. Whew. I didn't get the deluxe edition. Part of me kind of is sad that we can't. I didn't. Wow, we actually can you can you can go into all of them from one game now. Oh, that's so cool. Cause I never played the New York one at all. I never got around to that one. Now does that does that give us all of our items, like my muffins and stuff? If this goes on sale one day, I'm, I'll probably buy it. Or if I beat the, all this and I go, I want to buy it. <laughs> Story of Hitman 3. Okay, so. I think this is where we need to start. Let's give it a watch. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the Shadow Client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the Shadow Client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they managed to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Which was part of which was how uh, Hitman 2 over. ended. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Ooh, top of the world. Look closer. In the shadows, behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37, it's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. 
You never do. <laughs> this is someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's okay. tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy Got two hunting. targets. All right. Checking out, so we're starting on the outside. No disguise. Not a fiber wire kind of guy. You know, I... Oh, we do! We get the muffins. Meaty bones. Oh, we get all the fun things. He has the feather duster. I'm gonna bring the lock pick. And... No smuggled items. Okay, lockpick it is. And we'll stick on professional just because um, I think I can handle it. We'll see. <laughs> Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Oh, wow, you're starting me out here. 47, come in. 47, do you copy? <laughs> I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Can I go up? Over here. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? My camera? I override the window's controls from here. Oh. Okay. That's a new thing. I am a little old and rusty here with the uh, 
control, so I do apologize. Seven, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. We need an outfit. Grab a coat. Grab, do anything besides what you're doing. Oh, ho, ho, look at you. Welcome to the barge, Al Ghazali. Okay, I'll go up here. Just taking pictures. Less privileged sides of the respectful Al Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a little daunting. The last four floors always just kind of give me that the willies. Legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this achievement. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family name. But the most important one, this Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help. Upstairs, that is the Oh, it's a bathroom. Was it he wanted again? All right, right. Why is that door locked? It's a bathroom. Hmm. Perfect. Now, I could flood the sink, but I'm going to see what happens. Can I throw this? No. Okay. That's a fine. That's a fine. Didn't realize you were still in here. Hmm. I thought you left. Did you just come back? Is that what's up? Forty seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know. Why this is happening and I have an idea but it requires you finding a map terminal uh, I don't know what to do I'm trying to think here let's just uh... oh you get the key card disguise because I really don't have anywhere to hide a body in here that's my situation. My thought process was to... Where's this go? Okay.
Okay, so we have that here. In case I need it. But we do have a camera somewhere right there. Hmm. That's a fancy lock for a door. See if there's anything good in here I need to know about. Doesn't look like it. where I came in at. Reflections look really good on this floor. So is this an RTX game or not? That's my only curiosity at the moment. And again, it looks good, but is it RTX good? Not that I'm, I mean, not that I was like, oh my God, I gotta snub my nose that if it's not RTX. Just curious. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. All right, gather up. This is briefing four of the day. Most of the guests have arrived now. His Highness should be just about finished with his opening speech. This is where it gets real. The last nine hours have been a tutorial for what's coming now. You'll have some of the most important people in the world out there. Art critics, royalty, politicians, YouTubers, you name it. Cheer up. Everyone You're in the clouds. In the this building. is a dream game. But that means new rules. Before we go through those, I want That's to... That's some of Okay. I don't know if I really want to go that it way yet. names and information of guests, the new terminal passwords, fresh from IT, and run sheets for everything that's going to take place over the next three hours. Grab one before you leave. Memorize everything. All right, first things first. Remember your places. These are important people who do not need to be burdened by your presence. Unseen is a requirement. Second, you will overhear conversations of a sensitive... Well, that's a little un... I don't have to tell you that half of these unplanned. people are rich beyond your wildest dreams. Rich means weird. Whatever you hear in the scepter will stay here. Understood? I didn't sign an NDA with the girth of Sheikh Omar's grandfather just to have one of you idiots call up the press with a news story. And finally, the food is for guests only. Unless you're a chef, there's no... Okay, actually, that might, um, let's, because he shifts back and forth then. So during his next shifting over, we'll just go this direction. Okay, there he goes. Anyway, the code is 4706. Don't forget Could go for one of the guys. Sink. Do a little bit of this. No, don't turn the sink back on. Turn the sink off.
You won't notice? Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna draw judgments here. James called in sick today, of all days. His Highness has everyone working triple shifts. There's so much going on here. I've had four staff update meetings already. But now that crazy manager called us into an appendix. Got hair. I'm a klepto in these games, by the way, if you haven't noticed already. I mean, there's an actual limit to the amount of information that you can break and contain. And I'm pretty sure I've hit it. And to top it off, they just told us we were. Okay, so he's on a path. We know that much. Haven't even really seen our targets yet. We're just kind of scoping the grounds here. Oh, we got uh, something going on over here. Look, it's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. You can't enter without being... Zana Kazim, a.k.a. the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, we have to become him. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Interesting. I mean, we know for a fact it's probably not a good idea to try to do anything right here. We're going to have to follow him for a moment. Your work must be so glamorous. Turn on the speakers? Whoa, what? What is everybody freaking out for? I strongly Am I in danger? Right. I think we're okay. I think I'm okay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I need help. The body is hidden, technically. I mean, if we want to get into specifics. You 
You can come out now. We won't shoot you. It's a good thing I have no idea who you're talking to. What all did I pick up? Hold on here. What? Nope, that wasn't. I was trying to. Is there anyone who can help? Oh, did I screw this up? I think I screwed it up. I was trying, so I was trying to pull up all my different things. Yep, I screwed it up. Oh, good. Oh, this is perfect. This is right uh, when I was picking up all these goodies. So what else did I pick up? There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Handgun. Lethal poison pill jar. I pick up multiples of those? Two of them or something? I don't know. We're okay. Everything's fine. You know no different. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pause it here. We'll continue our mission in the next episode as the uh, worst Agent 47 known around. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. And until next time, you guys, stay frosty.